Goodwood, a cathedral to the combustion engine. We've been worshipping here for over 70 years, but the automotive landscape is shifting fast. Last year, Electric Avenue was just a feature. This year, it's become centre stage. So in 2022, we now have year-long waiting lists for some electric car models. Every car manufacturer here has an electric model on display and the fastest car at the Goodwood Hill, it's electric. Electrification is here and it's now. As you can see by the crowds, this is one of the undisputed stars of the show, the Rivian electric pickup truck. This is the only one in the UK. They've shipped it over, especially from the US. Costs $80,000 in the US, does 0 to 60 in, are you sitting down, three seconds. Sadly, no plans for a right-hand drive yet. So what we need to do is we all need to write to Rivian and say we need a right hooker pickup truck now. But the best part of this is people aren't coming up and saying, well, why are you here and why does electric make sense? They're coming in and saying, when can I get this car? I love it. 2022 is so much more exotic and exciting at Goodwood. Electrification is all over the place. It is the new theme. Uh, every car we see that's exciting has got a motor in it. It's the place to be. Lotus are absolutely committed to electrification. By 2027, all new cars that are mass produced for us will be electric. Customer demand is coming out so quickly now for electrification. Well, Goodwood is a historic event. It's a cornerstone of British auto history. And Electric Avenue has more footfall than any other part of the whole festival. Which, which then obviously amplifies the importance of pushing forward these cycle plans that the OEMs have, try to get those electric cars out of the factories sooner rather than later. So the Electric Avenue 2022 is huge compared with last year. Last year was quite niche. This year is probably the most densely packed area, maybe other than the supercar pit, but this is the most densely packed area in the whole of Goodwood. And everywhere you look, there's innovation. This is Polestar's electric roadster concept, which they'd better make, because it's going to sell. This is the Lucid Air. It's a kind of very posh Model S competitor, meant to be the best luxury EV in the world. But the big news about this is its range. It does 520 miles with its 110 kilowatt battery. And that's 520 miles of real world range. Not a government figure, that's what you get. And that's taken battery range to a different level. This is a game changer. I anticipate that that around about 90 to 95% of our sales will be our three electrified cars. That's, for me, a telltale sign that if you get the right car for the customer and the right choice, people will transition to electrified cars. And of course, it's not just cars. What's now happening is all the other industries are realizing where there's an engine, there's a need for your battery. So it's everything from construction vehicles, the helicopters, light aircraft, all these things are gonna go electric. Marine's gonna be massive now. Hybrid ships, electric ships on last mile into port. It's all gonna change. For me, it's all about education. You know, we can, we can talk about batteries, but if we don't explain them and bring them to life for people, then they really won't understand the importance of them for everyday life. This year at Goodwoods, with all the activity that we've got on in electrified powertrain and electric vehicles, we can see that tipping point is now behind us. And we're really going into mainstream as far as EVs in the industry is concerned. Goodwood will always be the temple where we worship the car. But those cars are changing and they are faster. 
They are just as sexy, but they're better for us. Welcome to the new status quo.